Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday. I believe this is my 16th day since I received my first package from Botmail. I'm still waiting on new parts from them, which they have promised to be sending me very soon. So uh, what you see now, though, is a set of Perusa, a Prussia printed parts that I got from Space Exula, or I'm not sure how you say that, but it's X-U-L-A, Space X-U-L-A. And um, he's also known as Rip Rap Log Phase, Neil. Uh, he's a great guy. He sent me these plastic, pink plastic parts, which are uh, what were unfinished. I had to ream them out and drill them a little bit, but they were perfect parts. Everything looks great. Everything's flat, uh, straight, printed great. Uh, I really appreciate those parts, and he gave me a bargain too. So yeah, I got the pink Prusa all ready. It's all set up basically. The frames tightened, squared. Uh, right now, I am trying to source all my parts locally and get whatever else I need off of uh, McMaster which is a hardware store online and they ship really quickly and I, right now I've got this drill, drill rod or drill rod and uh, the reason I haven't cut this yet and put it on the printer is because I'm waiting on brass bushings to come in some brass bushings to come in and see how well they slide on this because it you can't really tell in the video but they are a little rough. They're not as smooth as the ones Botmail sent me. They're a little bit rougher finished than those. But if they work, I'll cut them. If not, I will find an alternate source and I'll take those, take those back to the hardware store. I do have a great local hardware store. store. It's called uh, Marshall's Industrial Hardware. And uh, they've got everything I need except for like the metric thread rod, which is a little harder to find. What I do have here is some uh, zinc coated threaded rod zinc plated. Uh, I was really disappointed because I guess Botmail sent me stainless steel threaded rod and it just looks better on the printer. Not a big deal. I don't really care about how it looks as long as it works. But uh, yeah, I'll go with stainless steel from now on. It might be a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, from now on all my new threaded rod will be all stainless just to make everything nice and pretty. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but my uh, fender washers, the biggest fender washers I could find at my local hardware store are not even big enough to go over the 608 bearing. They're supposed to be M3 times 30 millimeters. Even in the local hardware store, I cannot find anything that large. That is the biggest size. That's M3 25 millimeter. So I could either use a Coke can or just something to keep those belts online. Bottle cap. I was thinking about getting a bottle cap and facing the uh, the caps on the outside so that it would still be a fender washer. So it'll be hackable. No big deal. What else we got going on over here? Oh, I wanted this fake rep log, rep log, rep rap log phase, excuse me, for making me really paranoid. And I went ahead and got myself a digital calipers. And now I measure everything like 400 times before I tighten it down. So thanks for that, Neil. Appreciate it. Wow. What else we got? So got my motors now. These motors did come with the bot mill kit. I have found a source in Anaheim, Ana Anaheim, Ana Ana what's it called? Anaheimautomation.com. They're really expensive if you buy less than 50. Once you get over the 50 mark, they become a lot cheaper. So if anyone out there wants to have like a, uh, a United States rep 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 uh, Mendel building party, you should go ahead and use them as a supplier because it's $13 for orders over $50 or 50 units. So that's what I got going on there. I did order from McMaster new gears. These are going to be metal aluminum gears that will be coming in. More precise to go with the belts I got. Where are my belts? One second. On the advice of some people in the forums or the uh, IRC, I went ahead and ordered some of this very fine. Can you see it? Very fine belts. These are 0 0.08 inches uh, pitch belts. And I got just one long one, about eight feet, I think. Eight feet of, of, of belt. And I only need belts for the Y and for the X. The other ones are just built in direct drive for the Z. So my understanding is that if the finer the pitch of the belt and the finer the pitch of the pulley, the more resolution you can get out of your prints but you might sacrifice some speed there. So. so the only reason I did that is because some of these gears, they don't come out too great. 
that one will work just fine for the uh, extruder. But um, you know, I just I'm paranoid and I want really high resolution parts. So that's what I have right now. I did. Let me close this a little bit. This is my box. This is my toolbox I've been using. As you can tell, if you've been watching all my other videos, this was full of nuts and bolts before. Completely full of nuts and bolts. What I've done is box up all the bot mail parts in nuts and bolts, and I put them back in the box. I grabbed a little zip Ziploc bag. I put all the nuts and bolts back in the box, and it is sitting waiting in the corner for new new uh, plastic parts to come in. If I don't get those new plastic parts in, I can just ship it back and get a full refund, one way or the other. Whether I have to contact my bank and send that out, or they will go ahead and just voluntarily give me back my money. So I do have an alternate plan with this pink Prusa. And as you, what my point was is that uh, look how much less hardware there is just for this Prusa. I have so much more space. This was full of nuts and bolts and washers and everything else. And now I have all these extra pieces I just have thrown in there. So lots and lots of space left over. So if you can, build yourself a Prusa. My backers, this is what you're gonna be getting. You're gonna get nuts and bolts for the Prusa and a threaded rod and the plastic parts. I will try to print print pink if I can find the, uh, the filament. Not sure if I can. Uh, Neil sent me these. Thanks, Neil, again for the uh, the tips on these. These are not PLA bushings, I guess. These are just the brackets you can put brass bushings inside. So that's what I'm waiting on. But uh, for my backers, I might go ahead and just print out a set of these and PLA bushings. So you can go ahead and have your choice of what you want to do. If you want to go with bushings, you can order those yourself. Or if you just want to use the clip-on PLA, you can have those too. There's a there's a split in what people like versus that stuff. But the rest of this stuff, I'm just waiting on my bushings so I can go ahead and build the X carriage and X axis. What else we got? Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> got my print bed all set. This is a lot easier to fabricate than the um, the squish frog that's on the sales mendel. I went ahead and just went to Lowe's and picked up a, a piece of um, six inch. It was six inch wide, and I'm not sure, like three feet long. But six inches wide is almost exactly, actually it's exactly 144, 140 millimeters, which is exactly what you need to fit right inside here. Fits perfect right inside of there, and that's exactly as wide as it should be. 140, 140 millimeters is six inches. So get six inch board, and it could be as long as you want. You can cut it down really easy. I was, my first choice was to go with acrylic. This is optics acrylic. You can't really see it, but it's supposed to be 10 times stronger than, uh, what's it called? Standard glass. But I cut it to exact shape, which is 225 millimeter times 140 millimeter. And using the bot mill aluminum plate, which looks really good and I figured it would be the best option. It doesn't really quite match up. The bolts wouldn't be big enough or they wouldn't be far enough out. Wouldn't give me a lot of standing room. And I was a little concerned that it would that it would bend under the pressure underneath the bars like just a little bit. So I went ahead and banded that as an option. But now I know how to cut acrylic and let's we'll see what else. Oh, I could use this to mount my motherboard. I was going to put it on the back side somewhere like this in case I had to send that kit back to bot mill. So that's what I've got going on right now. Uh, let's see. Cover anything else? Nope, that's about it. So yeah, lessons learned are go for Prusa, or Prussia. I'm not quite sure how you say that yet. Uh, go for the Prussia and stay away from the cells if you can. I do hear that the cells are supposed to be a more robust machine, like it can handle like putting a Dremel kit on it and making it use as a CNC, but I haven't seen anyone to use that yet. So this is what you're getting at the 250 level. You're going to get the plastic parts, the hardware, nuts and bolts. And I got a quote and I have to go out and source a few more pieces, but the hardest part for me is going to be cutting all this threaded rod for you guys. I do want to send it as cut rod because sending one meter lengths of threaded rod comes in a giant box. Let me swing you over to the giant box I got.
That's the giant box, one meter. Not that little one right there, that box. Okay, so there's my pink Prusa, Prussia. And um, I do hear some people have nicknames for their printers. So if you, someone wants to name my pr printer, go ahead and throw out a suggestion in the comments or on the Kickstarter page. And I'll consider it and I'll probably like write it on the, uh, the print bed here on the bottom of this or on the bottom there so you can see it when you flip the machine over. So yeah, leave any any comments in the uh, in the comments below or like the video so that I know you guys like it when I talk a lot like I'm doing in this video or if you just want me to do fast forwards and me building things, I don't know. So that's it, I will be uh, updating the Kickstarter page on Tuesday and I should have more parts and this thing more built up by then, so thanks.